pals. Coming up on this week's episode, we'll go with the heat. A Central American poet needs the protection of the Miami Vice before testifying in Congress in the episode Free Verse. On this week in Vice, we'll be covering when this episode of Miami Vice aired from March 16th to April 5th, 1986, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on March 31st, the largest airline disaster in Mexican history occurred 15 minutes after takeoff from the Benito Juarez International Airport from Mexico City en route to Los Angeles. An explosion later blamed on an incorrectly filled tire would cause the fuel lines to rupture, eventually leading to the plane crashing into the Sierra Madre Occidental Mountain Range, killing all 167 people on board. In music, Moving Starship Out of the Way is These Dreams from the rock group Heart. There is another song that reached number one during the three weeks between Vice episodes, but I'm saving that for next week. The power ballad These Dreams was a significant departure for the band whose previous hits include Crazy on You, Magic Man, and Barracuda. From the self-titled album, the song and album would be massive hits. The album would spend 92 weeks on the top 200 and produce four number one hits. I will never hide my love for Heart, even if it's a soft power ballad from a true rock band. In movies, in this time period, two movies would reach the top spot. But, like in music, I'll be saving one for next time. This week, we'll be taking a look at the Ron Howard film, Gung Ho. The plot centers around Hunt Stevenson, played by Michael Keaton, who is tasked with convincing a Japanese motor company to reopen a closed American factory in a small town in Pennsylvania. The film is full of stereotypes, predictable, and actually pretty surprising it made it to the top spot. In the height of fear over factory jobs being offshored in the mid-1980s, the premise may have struck a chord with American viewers. But it is one of the most forgettable movies of the decade. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at Dom Corvo. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.